Hi guys, this is Amar and welcome to Amar Tech Stuff. So guys, in this video, we are going to focus on SPAN, that is port mirroring configuration on Cisco Packet Tracer. But moving forward uh, with the Cisco Packet Tracer configuration, uh, let's first see what exactly SPAN, that is switch port analyzer is. Uh, switch port, switch port analyzer allows you to monitor and capture the network traffic. As you can see guys in this diagram, we have a client, we have a server. So whenever if you want to wish that you need to capture the traffic which is moving from the client to the server or uh, anything like any traffic which is moving from the switch, you can do so by using span configuration. So once you configure uh, the span, once you enable the span on your switch and initiate the traffic from the client to the server, a copy of the traffic will be sent to the switch port of that switch where the sniffer is connected. You need to mention it that this is the destination for where the traffic need to be captured. So you can do this configuration. The configuration is very easy and very simple, but at the same time, it is very interesting uh, once you see that output of the sniffer. So let's see this configuration, a very simple configuration. What I'll do is I'll take a switch over here. I'll take the end devices. Uh, guys, I'll need three end devices, okay? A PC, a server, and a sniffer. So I'll take a sniffer as well. I'll do the connections now. So I'll take a connection, connect to this server over here. Then fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 to the PC and fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 to the sniffer. So what I'll do is the ports are coming up. Meanwhile, I'll configure the IP addresses for the PC and the server. We'll go into the desktop IP config and I'll configure the IP address. 10.1.1. Let's say PC IP. I'll give it as 100. Okay. And uh, I'll configure the server IP address. Go to desktop IP config. And dot one dot one dot two hundred. I'll keep it the server IP address. Okay, so this is dot hundred. This is dot two hundred. Uh, sniffer, you can see this is a sniffer. If you want to see whatever what packets are being monitored, if you want to monitor or capture the packets, you need to go into GUI, and here you can see the packets. You know whatever the packets are coming or going outside. So you can see over here. Uh, now what I'll do is I'll configure, start configuring uh, the span configuration. Okay, you can see the STP over here because this is a switch, so STP is by default running, DTP by default running, CDP by default running. Okay, so that is the packet switches which you are seeing. Now, now what I'll do is we'll go into the switch and start configuring the span. But before conf configuring the span, you need to decide what will be the source and the destination for the span. So here the destination is going to be no doubt fast Ethernet 0 slash 3 because here is what you need a copy of the traffic. Uh, the source can be either fast Ethernet 0 slash 2, you can keep it a source as fast Ethernet 0 slash 2 or fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 in this case because if you want to capture the traffic, all the traffic which is going to the server. Uh, you can keep the source as fast Ethernet 0 slash 1 and uh, it will be fine because in our case it will be okay because we are just doing a demonstration. So it's okay with us that we will capture the traffic, whatever traffic incoming outgoing traffic for fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. So let's do it. So I'll start configuring it. I'll go into the configuration mode. The command is very simple monitor session and you need to give a session id so whatever capturing and actually have a lot of uh, monitor sessions span sessions on particular device so i'll give a session id as one and the source the source we have decided has to be fast ethernet interface fast ethernet zero slash one okay now here you get an option for the uh, for the direction of the traffic so we have decided that we want both the direction traffic incoming and outgoing. So 
even if you don't mention anything by default it will be both uh, rx will be like the ingress traffic receiving traffic tx will be the egress traffic if i if i wish to capture only the incoming traffic or if i wish to capture only the outgoing traffic i can use these options but for for this thing i will just keep it as default now i'll mention the destination so it is monitor session 1 destination interface destination interface is fast ethernet 0/3 because on fast ethernet 0/3 our sniffer is connected now to verify the configuration the command is show monitor now you can see here this session is session type is local session because we are using local span we are our source our destination both are connected on to the same switch so it's a local span not an remote span that is the r span it's a different thing i may come up with another video for that and here you can see uh, the source port ports on the port is fast ethernet 0/1 and the direction is both uh, the destination port you can see as it is fast ethernet 0/3 where this sniffer is connected now it's a time to test the things uh, what i'll do is i'll initiate some traffic from the pc go into the command prompt and i'll initiate some traffic and in the side by i'll open this sniffer as well now this traffic ping traffic i'm going to initiate so it will be an icmp traffic here you can see there is no icmp traffic currently right so i'll start the ping so the ip address of my pc is 10.1.1.100 okay so this is going to be the source of my ping packet and the destination Will be the server that is ten dot one dot one dot two hundred. Okay, so I'll just ping it, and now we can see over here some traffic, ICMP traffic, right? So this is the ICMP traffic. I'll ping more if you want. You can see more ICMP packets then. So here is the ICMP. Packet. I'll check one ICMP packet and show you. So I'll just click on this ICMP packet. If you click on this ICMP packet, you can see different. Or oh, this is the Ethernet parameters. This is the IP parameter. So here you can see this IP parameter source IP, the IP of the PC that is 10.1.1.100. Uh, destination IP address that is the IP address of the server 10.1.1.200. So in this way, guys, you can monitor and you know capture the packet of this sniffer. So if you guys practice it a lot, a lot of things you can uh, play with, you know, edit filters and a lot of things. Maybe you take some. Uh, configure this span for some particular direction take rx or tx something like that so you can a lot of things you can uh, play with and practice a lot it will really help you uh, in your practical real world environment also so guys in this video i'll stop here but before ending up this video i'll request you to please like my video comment on my videos give me some certain suggestions uh, i'll uh, come up with more videos so i'll stop here and catch up with the next video till then bye thanks and take care